Hello everyone, welcome to Back to Code. Today we're going to learn how to call functions and access variables that are not in the same script as we are coding in. So let's start. In my project in Unity, I have two game objects. One is the game manager and the other one is the input manager. And I want to access from the input from the script that is in the input manager a script a function that is in the game manager, in the script of the game manager. So how do we do this? Here I have a function in game manager that is take life. And from the input manager, I want that each time that I press the spacebar to call the function take life. So how do we do this? There are two ways mainly. One way is to First, declare our variable. So this is going to be our first. We have to access our script. And what is this script? What is it? It's a game manager. What class is it? So we have to put game manager, and we put a game uh, a name to our game manager. There we go. And now we have to find it. How do we do this? How do we initialize our game manager? We do game object dot find and here we're going to have to put the name of our game object so how is our game object called as you see here our game object that contains the script of game manager is called game manager 2 so we're going to copy that and set it here so we're going to find the game manager dot get component so what we're going to do right here is right now here we have the game object game manager so right now we could literally we could easily put game object game manager equals here so here we have accessed the game object, so it would have the whole game object, but we want to have the script specifically. So how do we access this script? We put dot get component, and here we have to put the name of the class of our script. And what it is, it's game manager. So we're going to put there. And now we have the script, so now we just have to assign it. So we're going to do game manager equals, and here we have the script. Now, if we want to call the function that is called take life, we just have to do game manager, our script, dot take life, and that's it. Take notice that here the function has to be public. To access it, we it, the function has to be public. And well, that's it. Now we can call the function easily. Now let's try it out. So let's say here we have the life is tr 3. We put play. And each time I press the spacebar, the life will go down. Great. Now there's another way, and I would say a simpler and better way, is for this script not to find the game manager and do all the work. We're going to comment this. What we will do here is set this as a serialized field. What this does is permits us to just drag and drop the game manager here, and that's it. So what we're going to do is just tell it where the script is and make it slim simpler so it doesn't have to search for the script by itself. So this would work too. Let's try it out. So there we go, each time I press space, the life will go down. And those are the two ways in which you can get a function from a different script in which you're standing on. Now let's say we want to get uh, the variable here that we have of life. How do we do this? Let's say uh, we want to print it. So we're going to do print and we want to somehow do something the way like 
this and get the life. To do this, there are two ways also. You can just create a function here called public um, int get life. And what we're going to do is just return our life. So from the input manager, we just put game manager dot and we access the function as we just did with take life, get life. So let's try this out. Each time I press the space, here it's accessing the life, right? So that's how you would get it. Now, if you want to set it, you would just have to do the same thing with a new function, public, where you would, wouldn't have to return anything, void, and set life. And here you would have to pass what life you want to set it in. So let's do int new life and do uh, life equals new life. And that's it. And how you would call it from the other script, you would just do game manager dot set life eight. So that's how you would get and set a variable. Now there's another way to get and set variables that are in another, in another script. It's just by doing, let's just create another variable so you can see the difference. It's just by doing public int, let's just call it hearts. And put here a getter and a setter. So what this does, it says, okay, we're going to have a variable that is called hearts that you can get it and you can set it. And you can even say, I don't want, I don't want the setter to be public. I want it only my, I want only this script to access the setter. So we can do just this private and that would be it. Now to access this from the input manager, you would just have to do game manager dot hearts and there you got it you you get hearts you you could print and if you were wanted to set it you have to take this private from here and say game manager dot hearts equals nine but if we put here private as we had it before, it would it will have an error here. Now, when to use this and when to use this other one? Basically, if you have to validate anything, so here if you want to set life and you say, okay, you can uh, anyone can set the life, but you want to validate if the number is bigger than zero, so perhaps you have to say. So if you need to validate and do some code uh, when setting or getting perhaps uh, anything, then do it this way. Just make a function. But if not, just do this. Do it this way, and it's much easier and really easy to read it. So that's how you call functions and access variables. Like and subscribe for more lessons like this.